During 2017, I've been uploading restored versions of Mighty Max here on YouTube. Hopefully you've been enjoying this project and the episodes I've completed so far. For several years, I've been developing a method of restoring VHS tapes to digital files. I finally reached a point where I felt satisfied with the quality I could get, and that is the 3.0 version you've seen online. I just wanted to make this behind the scenes video in order to show you the process every episode goes through before it's uploaded. It all begins with the transfer. My sources are commercial VHS tapes, mostly from the UK, as well as some home recordings from TV broadcasts. I play these on a high-end SVHS VCR player with various stabilizers and functions that help get the best picture possible from the tapes. The VCR is hooked up with a gold-plated S-video cable, as well as gold-plated audio cables, ensuring the signal doesn't lose any quality. I also pass the signal clean through a DVD recorder, just to give it a bit more stabilization. The signal is then converted to digital video using this external device. I save the file with a lossless codec to maintain all the quality. Thanks to the transfer, I've already avoided some issues. If I had used RCA cables for the video signal, colors would have ended up looking something like this. There is chroma bleeding and pixelated edges especially visible around Max's red M on his shirt. See the difference when using an S-video cable. Also, without proper stabilizers, there could have been various problems. Here, you can see a distortion at the top of the screen. And here, the whole frame jitters up and down randomly. At this point, the restoration process can begin. I use various software and filters to get as close as I can to what the original animation looked like. Here are some examples. The source is interlaced, since it was broadcast in the 90s. When viewed on a computer or a modern TV, it doesn't look very good. I do a careful de-interlacing to turn the source progressive instead, just like the original animation. I also want clean and smooth lines, especially since this is a cartoon. Anti-aliasing, line sharpening, and upscaling is therefore used to avoid the jagged and pixelated look. Since this is a VHS source, there is bound to be some noise in the picture. This is especially noticeable in darker scenes. If I brighten the image, you'll clearly see an ugly, crawling noise all over the frame. I use a powerful noise reduction filter and apply it very carefully after analyzing the pattern of the noise. The result is a much more stable and clean picture without losing any of the details. Sometimes there will be blended frames in the picture. These were not present in the original animation and is the result of two frames being cross-faded together. One of my filters identify these and replace them with a solid adjacent frame. If there are errors inherent to the tape, even stabilizer won't help, like this distortion seen here for just a few frames. These I'll have to manually remove and replace with unaffected adjacent frames. When these major problems are solved, I apply final color correction, level adjustment, and contrast balance to the entire picture. I'll leave you with a few before and after shots from different episodes. I really hope you enjoyed this video and the work that I do on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more episodes as I upload them.